Hello, this is Samuel Guy in Hawaii, and this was originally two videos called The Problem with Visibility and The Problems with the Minimap. Better titles, but it makes sense to combine them as the issues are related. So, visibility. I'm not talking about screen pollution. I'm saying it's often hard to actually pick out and see enemies even under ideal conditions when they are right in front of us. Okay, this was a minor issue in Borderlands 3, but a much more significant one. In Wonderlands. Both Borderlands 3 and Wonderlands use a more detailed but also more muted color palette than previous Borderlands entries. This can make picking out enemies difficult in some situations. Flat colored targets can be hard to pick out against flat colored backgrounds. Wonderlands aggravates this tendency with the introduction of bone health bars and skeleton opponents. Red health, yellow armor, and blue shield bars stand out against most backgrounds. Okay. The new light gray bone bars, however, are much harder to see in many situations. So are the actual light gray skeleton enemies. In many situations, unless our aim point is centered on the target, forcing the display of the hit point bars, the enemy itself can be very difficult to pick out. Okay, worst of all is Wastard, aka Son of a Witch. A skeleton boss who, during at least one phase, is the same size and color as any of the skeleton ads that spawn around him. Okay. The only thing hard in keeping track of Sound of the Witch is doing it during night instead of day. But again, it's a problem with a lot of different enemies in different situations, not just skeletons. Even Dragon Lord can take a while to reacquire a dark costume against a dark sky. Also, many times I've gone down, glanced at the minimap for a second wind enemy, found it, turned toward that direction, and failed to visually acquire the enemy until it was too late. So the minimap says they're right in front of me, but where are they? Okay. I don't know if there's any way to fix this, but if it can be done easily, it should be. This is a sci-fi fantasy first-person PvE shooter. This is not in any way a realistic simulation of actual combat to include camouflage. The enemy can always find us. We should not have great difficulty visually acquiring them if they are not behind cover. Now, assuming this does not get fixed, at least in the near term, however, locating enemies, especially hard-to-see enemies, means glancing frequently at the minimap. But there are problems with the minimap. There are a number of different icons that appear on the minimap. Bosses, non-boss enemies, legendary drops, which can be turned off, power-up shrines, companions, mission or secondary objectives, and in the middle of it all, the Fate Maker's own icon. Now, all these icons are opaque, with each existing in a separate layer. Anytime two or more icons overlap, the topmost layer icon will appear on top of any lower layer, and it can even obscure the lower layer icons. Okay. Ideally, then, more important icon should occupy higher layers. I submit that the two most important icons on the map are bosses and non-boss enemies. This, however, is not the case. The bottommost layer, the one that everything else covers up, is the boss icon layer. Okay. But a boss icon is huge. It can't really be obscured by something else. So not really a problem. Right after that, however, are non-boss enemy icons. These are obscured by pretty much everything else. Companions, secondary objective markers, even the Fate Maker's own icon. This makes no sense. The enemy, the red icons, should always take precedence. If we can't find the enemy on the minimap, that's a problem. Worse, in Dungeon, Chaos Chamber, and some boss encounters, ads can spawn almost anywhere, including almost on top of the player. Although on top is a misnomer. Many is the time I've been hit out of nowhere, looked at the minimap, and seen nothing around me because my own icon covered the newly spawned enemy icon. Okay, This is a problem that needs to be fixed. It should be easy. Change the prioritization of each layer to move non-boss enemies up, preferably to the top. That's obvious. Okay, We still have to visually acquire the enemy, problem one, but at least the minimap would be better optimized to do its part. Lastly, there's one other somewhat related issue, namely the limited range of the minimap. Most Wonderland enemies have ranged attacks, and an awful lot of them can hit us from beyond minimap range. I have lost track of the number of times I have been inspecting gear or working a puzzle with a minimap clear of red icons and gotten hit by something in the distance I didn't even realize was there. Okay, This one has the simplest fix, either increase the minimap size or reduce its scale. Okay, And that's all I have. Get on Twitter or Reddit or follow a support ticket to get Gearbox to address these issues. But before you do that, however, consider liking, commenting, or subscribing if you like this kind of content. As always, stay safe, and thanks for watching.